Yo, sometimes I want to make videos for y'all, and sometimes I want to make videos for me. And this is one of those videos. That zoo shit. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider becoming part of the family by clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now, what is there to say about Denzel Curry? The dude is consistently one of the best rappers that's come out of this new school generation of rapper. A lot of people give the new school generation of rapper a lot of shit because they're not the the most lyrically complex. Yes, there's always a time and place for turn up music. I don't always wanna hear the lyrical miracle shit. Sometimes I just wanna vibe. Sometimes I just wanna turn up. I'm just out there getting hype. But that doesn't mean that you have an excuse to be whack with the pen game, which a lot of these new school rappers are. And much to my chagrin as being a Denzel Curry fan, I didn't even realize that the dude had a new project until I seen it in my YouTube recommended section. Thank you, YouTube recommended section once again. Algorithm working flawlessly. And unbeknownst to me, am I using unbeknownst and chagrin too close together, using maxing out all my vocabulary? You goddamn right I am. But unbeknownst to me, this new project also has this 23 minute and 45 second music video. Like what am I gonna be expecting from a short form movie? This is an episode of Parks and Rec. This is an episode of The Office. So we about to just hop on into it because I'm gonna have to break this thing down into like segments because there's no way that I'm gonna sit here and do a two hour reaction. But like I always say at the end of the intro, there's not really too much to be talking about because we about that action over here. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earn. It's just like the channel, no spaces. Links in the description below. We got Denzel Curry, Kenny Beats, unlocked, 23 minute, 45 second music video, part one. Let's get it. And by the way, because of the length of this music video and I wanna make this more of like a true reaction, I'm gonna try my hardest to only talk about the bars that are like extremely impactful. Let's go. Yo, yo. Hey, yo, bro, I'm here. Are you at the studio? Yo, that's the way Denzel Curry is. Like, a, I guess that's a Florida thing. I'm not sure. But the studio is kind of dope. It's like real small, kind of intimate. Got that little neon vibe. Okay. Yo, yo. Hey, yo, bro, I'm here. Are you at the studio? Yeah, I'm here. What the? How you know I wasn't in the session? I didn't know. Don't even clap me up, nigga. What's up? Bro, the sexy. <laughs> What were you coming in all hot for, bro? What happened? Look at your motherfucker. <laughs> the way he comes in, just like hot. Don't even clap me up. His face, bro. You could tell like he broke characters so many times doing that. That was not the first take. <laughs> Don't even clap me up, nigga. What's up? Bro, take a seat. <laughs> what, what were you coming in all hot for, bro? What happened? Look at your motherfucking phone. Look at my phone. It's just Twitter. We can look at your Twitter, man. And what what that say? What'd that say? Did you put the project out? I didn't put the project out, nigga. That's why I came here. Then you the, the only nigga it? with the file. What the fuck is this fader? Bro, you, like, it's literally you and me with the link. Bro. I didn't have the link. I literally gave you the song. That's it. So nigga. Don't, don't talk about I'm nigga, going don't. the files. I gave oh. you the shit. First and, you and foremost, it for people. first and foremost, sir, every time I came up to <laughs> some nigga, they told me, yo ass be playing it for him. Bro, you. that's off my laptop with the aux cord. They're not leaving with files. You out here literally showing people all the shit, sending people little but pieces. I ain't sending files either, nigga. So what you trying to say? And how's it on the internet? You calling me a fucking liar? Then how's it on the internet? You calling me a fucking liar? Then how's it on the internet? That's on you. Thought so. <laughs> Yo, computer. Bro, if you don't have that same stupid ass little argument with your friend where you just keep repeating the same shit over and over because you think like that's your best argument and your brain also can't think fast enough to answer the question that he asked, and then you ended up with like, I thought so, because you got the last word. That shit was unproductive right there. But if you don't have that kind of argument with your friends, are y'all even friends, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, the plot of the shit is that the tape leaked and they're trying to figure out who done did it. And then people little But I ain't seen the files either, nigga, so what you trying to say? And how's it on the internet? You calling me a fucking liar? And how's it on the internet? You calling me a fucking liar? And how's it on the internet? That's on you! Thought so. Your got computer him. is your shit, bro. It's on you. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. Like, there's one way we can solve it, like it or not. 10.30 in the fucking morning, bro. Just look. <laughs> One solution is the only- He's like, what the fuck is this man doing? <laughs> One solution is the only solution, bro. <laughs> Take this, bro. Just trust me. 
You think you're the first person to have a leak online, bro? If you want to solve your problem, fucking take this. I have a BDSM shit you in. It's got a USB. <laughs> Denzel, take this shit, bro. You... The USB? Look at that. He said, what type of BDSM shit is this? <laughs> it's just like a stupid little USB tape to this fucking thing. <laughs> you the one coming here complaining. I'm trying to help you. It's from a Back to the Future shit is this? You want to sit here and go back and forth, or you want to fucking save this album? Where'd you say you got this shit from again? I said I got it in a guitar center in Guadalajara. <laughs> the song center sell this? Uh, not in the States. Bro, what the fuck is this? Come on, bro. <laughs> not in the States. I got the new Mac, so I need to use the, the adapter. Bro. Hold on, hold on. I got the new Mac, I need to use the adapter? Unless you're a Mac user who understands that's like, that's one of just the things that you have to just learn to live with as a Mac user. It's like a necessary evil. They're trying to be the innovation in terms of like port technology. Like my computer right now, this motherfucker right here has four, look, I got an adapter on it right now. Has four USB-C slots, a headphone jack, and that's it. You have a traditional USB, you have an SD card reader, gotta use one of these hoes. Ask me how much this was, $100. Ask me what was the price for me, free 99 fam. Got this shit hot. I'm not condoning stealing unless somebody else is doing it and giving it to you. But yo, that port adapter shit, bro. And the way he says it, like all defeated, I, I gotta use an adapter, I got the new Mac. Hold up. I got the new Mac, so I need to use the, the adapter. Really? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Really? What are you looking at? Obviously, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay then, then your album's out and there's nothing you can do. Cool. There go all that stream money, that, that $4 you're gonna make on your two million streams. Okay, great. <laughs> Look at his face. You can tell this is not the first take on any of this shit. There goes your $4 on your millions of streams, bro. That's gotta be mad frustrating. And it's probably true. Like they get paid very little for streams. But look at his face. You could tell he's cracked up on this line before. There go all that stream money, that, that $4 you're gonna make on your two million <laughs> streams. Okay, great. Bullshit. Let me plug you in there. Did you take the double X? I told you I needed the bigger one. This shit is dumb tight on well, my head. Well, nigga, you don't want to give me this motherfucker then. Big head ass. All right, come here, come here. Big head ass. <laughs> Just warm your shit up. Just give it a second, warm up. All right, you ready? I guess, nigga. Come on. Computer. Hold on, shit was mad loud in my ears. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I missed that whole little part right there. This one I gotta go through. Being in a fucking computer. Yo, what the fuck is this, dog? What is this? Windows 95? <laughs> this is literally state of the art technology. Yo, is that the little paper clip from Windows smoking a blunt? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this, dog? What dog. is this? Windows 95? <laughs> this is literally state of the art technology. Bro. Look at this. Look at this desktop right here. Look what we got. We got topless Steve Buscemi pics. We got Benny Hanna's menu, Detox, Dr. Dre's album that's never coming out, Playboy Cardi ad libs. Just do me a favor, don't touch anything. My organizational system is extremely carefully put together. Yo, man, where's the fucking files? Bro, 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 come where's on. Where's the files? I bet you it was in here, huh? This is how they got it. Puppy photos. Why would you have puppy photos on? Oh! Whoa, whoa, bro, get out of there! Oh! That's private. Bro, what is this? Bro, that is not for you, that's private. Close that. I'll show you where the files are. Ew! It's Yo, every dude ever has had a fucking file that looks like that. Something that's labeled inconspicuous and then mad files inside of that file to like throw everybody off. And then inside of that file is actually the shit that you don't want people to see. I have one of those. I probably still have one of those on my computer. I don't even know it's there anymore. I'll show you where the files Ew. are. It's right here. Wait, what the hell is this? Where are the files? Jesus, what? what's going on? Okay, okay. We yeah, have to be careful dope. because if we go into that portal, it could be extremely dangerous to the entire Man, fabric. Fuck it, we of out there. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he said, hey, fuck it, we out here. Shit. <laughs> it just jumps. Yo, this is pretty fucking tight so far, though. We go into that portal, it could be extremely dangerous to the entire Man, fabric. Fuck it, we of out there. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! 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 Oh, no
He's usually slightly bigger or stronger than the other. Yo, this is tight. And has a friendly attitude, an outgoing personality. The leader among adolescents. Bro. He's likely to remain a leader. These graphics are fucking sick. This animation, whoever did this, it's like top notch right now. This is a dope ass concept. They go into the computer to find the files that they lost and got leaked. That's tight. But this animation switch to go from the like pixelation to this, like it's dope. Like mad props to whoever created this, whoever had the vision for this, shit's tight. Than the average, and has a friendly attitude, an outgoing personality. The leader among adolescents is likely to remain a leader through later life. Sometimes his father wonders if he's all right. Mentally. He feels safer saying nothing. At least then he can't say the wrong thing. Psychologists call it a negative phase. This is a common method of self-protection. Subconsciously, he's looking for acceptance Yo, this is and help tight. with his problems. But mother has learned that these things are usually temporary. Yo, and then a virus? The more quickly they wear off. Unlocked. Yo, and then a virus like had like had made this made the audio like glitch out and then yo, this, this is fucking dope I got no words for how dope this is right now and the fact that they got to go in there and find the songs That's tight And these little viruses Unlocked Unlocked Yo, this is gonna get me fucking hyped. Is the whole video like this? Someone tell me if you've seen it already, cause this shit, tight, 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 like Tuco. He said other rappers is hysterical, I'm historical. He said out the barrio, I'm as cold as Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Beat is fire. And all this has been just the beginning. How'd it get so quiet, bro? Are we the only ones here? Oh shit, we're in the Uzumaki world right now. Uzumaki is like some Japanese horror shit. We just need to find these. Yo, are they about to like go through to the, through these different like parallel universes within the computer for each individual song? Cause they, I saw that they found the one track, but now here we are, they went into another part of the computer and now we switched up the whole animation. Bro, the creative mind that came up with this concept and then the fact that they have like this black and white like checkerboard style outfits so that way you don't lose them, your eye doesn't lose them within the concept. Yo, I'm about to be mad impressed, I already know. Oh shit, we're in the Uzumaki world right now. Uzu what? It's like some Japanese horror shit. We just need to find these files so we can get the fuck out of here. Man, let's go to this lighthouse. Douglas, it's time to pick my brain apart. Looking nah. at the menu, motherfucker, I'm the main with art. The patriarch of this suit shit, never no fool shit. Try to suit as we end up. Bro, the fucking beat. That hoe slaps. Oh, like Frederick Douglass, it's time to pick my brain apart. Looking at the menu, motherfucker, I'm the main with art. Nah. The patriarch of this suit shit, never no fool shit. Try nah. to suit as we end up on Sun Tzu shit. Nah. And you don't want that but Try to sue us and we'll end up on some Sun Tzu shit? Bro, like we'll go to war with y'all motherfuckers? Sun Tzu's like the, the, was he a general? What was he? He was someone of like serious importance, the art of war. And he says, we on that Zoo shit, not this foo shit. For those of you that don't know Denzel, Zoo is like where Carroll City, Florida, it's where he's from. That's the name, bitch, we coming from the zoo. But Z-U-U, not Z-O-O. -O. Like Frederick Douglass, it's time to pick my brain apart. The civil rights and slave abolition and just like everybody, like he wrote so many audio biographies, literally picking his brain apart. It's fire. But this beat is fucking crazy. The patriarch of this zoo shit, never no fool shit. Try to sue this, we end up on Sun Tzu shit. And you don't want that, buddy, there's no combat. Ask Drake to pick you a season for you to come back. Everything nah, that gets up. Ask Drake for you to pick a season for you to come back. Drake's second mixtape was comeback season. Yo, that's a bar.
There's no combat. Act straight to pick you a season for you to come back. Everything that Denzel spits, nigga, is all facts. I be sticking to the paper like a thumbtack. Uh, I'm a bang, mother. Sticking to the paper like a thumbtack? I'm telling you, the dude's got bars. All facts. I be sticking to the paper like a thumbtack. Uh, I'm a bang, motherfucker. Gun tucker. I don't uh, trust them. I don't love them. Uh, Little brother, don't make me reach out and touch you. I don't got candy, but I'll turn your head to gushers. Sucker. When you Little brother, don't make me reach out and touch you like a pedophile. I don't got candy like a pedophile, but I'll turn your head to gushers. Like gushers the candy that would leak out. He'll make your brain leak, gun tucker. The boy is fucking cold with it. And his delivery and his flow and just is like so aggressive. I love this shit. And what I love the most about Curry is that like his songs are not drawn out like four or five, six minutes. He's like the Linkin Park of rap. We get the shit in and we get the shit out. We got 10 tracks, we got 30 minutes, we're gonna pack as much shit in as we can and it's gonna go ham from song number one to song number 10. It's fucking tight. And yo, the animation right here is just as dope as the animation before, but for like a completely different reason. Think about the fact that someone had to go in there frame by frame and animate this 23 minute song. I be sticking to the paper like a thumbtack. Oh. I'm a pain, motherfucker, gun tucker. I don't trust them, I don't love them. Ah. Little brother, don't make me reach out and touch you. I don't got candy, but I'll turn your head to gushers. Sucker, when you see the barrel, better pucker. Up for the kiss of death when silhouettes rush you. Cold like Russia, six feet under. Spraying at your crew like a damn rock duster. After Bro. The video, first off, they're right there from like getting the file and then boom, tornado comes through. But he said you better pucker up your lips for the end of the barrel, this kiss of death. <sighs> and not only did he say pucker up for the kiss of death like a gum barrel in your mouth, but he said the silhouettes will touch you. Like he's just got, he's just got a crew running around in all black like a silhouette ready to jack. That's fucking tight. He said spraying at your crew like a crop duster. Bro. After dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks. Ah. Trying to raise the trust, so I don't have to push a shopping cart. You fell ah. in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart. These niggas want to take it back like civil rights and Rosa okay. Parks. After dark, the they want to take it back like civil rights and Rosa Parks. Like literally throwback to that, but also they want to take it back like I basically alluding that white people or like white politicians wish that they could take back the rights that they gave to black people and the people of color. But also we're tying the whole civil rights Rosa Parks thing all the way back to the beginning of the track where he talks about Frederick Douglass. This is what I'm talking about, the dude is slept on. These niggas want to take it back like civil rights and Rosa okay. Parks. After dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks. I'm trying to raise the trust so I don't have to push a shopping cart. You fell in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart. These niggas want to take it back like civil rights and Rosa Parks. You hear that production right there where they cut the beat out? I, it's like my favorite thing about good producers when they take the beat out for a second. I don't know what style of like animation this is. It's obvious. It's not anime. It's like it's a discredit to call everything anime when it's in this style. It's, it might be manga. I'm not sure. But this style, it's like being done to perfection right here. Like you're getting that horror feel from a cartoon. Like when that chick turned into that little monster, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. watching how you move, where you walk, where your compass be. That's a fucking bar. Accident, so what it's like initially, officially. Loving less than company, my misery. So I'm obsessed with company. Watching how you move, how you walk, where your compass be. Even when you move to an island living. Wait, I think he said partners be, my bad. But either way, fucking still a dope line. Watching how you move, how you walk, where your compass be. Even when you move to an island living company. Trauma still follows. Every part of the clip full of deadly ass hollows. Hanging at your trunk, but it's not a money Carlo. Here's how it really goes down. Okay, after dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks. I'm trying to raise the trust so I don't have to push a shopping cart. You fell in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart. These niggas want to.
wanna take it back like Okay, after dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks yeah. Trying to raise the trust so I don't have to push a shopping cart You fell in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart These niggas wanna take it back like civil rights and Rosa Parks Yo, just that whole, and I don't know if this is what they meant to like allude to or what like the whole the whole symbolism of that little monster and just that act of going at him to get it like the way that I'm taking it right now is that like your fears are all imaginary and your fears are stopping you from reaching your goals and I like I said I don't know if this is what they meant by it art is subjective and everybody can take it however they want but look at first they were like scared of this of this spirit of this demon spirit with the little swirl face but then Curry's like yo fuck this dude we gotta go at him he goes at him punches and it's all just like, it's, it's it's all just smoke and mirrors. It's not, there's nothing to really be afraid of. The file is on the other side of his fears. That's just like so dope. If that's really what they meant, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe the curtains are just fucking blue and the curtains being blue doesn't mean shit. But to me, this means, sh this means something to me. And if I am spot on with it, then <laughs> props to me. I don't know what to tell you. After dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks. I'm trying to raise the trust so I don't have to push a shopping cart. You fell in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart. These niggas want to take it back like... Okay, after dark, the riot starts way uglier than Bubba Sparks. I'm trying to raise the trust so I don't have to push a shopping cart. You fell in love with Kali Ma, but now it's time to take your heart. These niggas want to take it back like civil rights and Rosa Parks. <laughs> Say hello. Grinding wheels and metal are what made Three Finger Joe. Yo, that's dope. Look, we're about to go on to a whole nother thing. Yo, that's gotta be it for right now because that's eight minutes of video. The video is probably gonna be like fucking 30 minutes. Nobody's gonna watch it, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch my own fucking reaction. I don't even give a shit. I'm gonna watch it, like it, and comment on it, just like I always tell y'all motherfuckers to do. But yo, this video is mad intense, fam. Like, shh. The shit is just fucking dope. The whole concept of going through and like we got that little comedy vibe, but then we also have like this fuck this, I'm aggressive, I'm hype vibe. And Ernesto, middle name Vibes Ariano the third is here for this music video. I'm like impressed with every fucking thing about this so far. But yo, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it because I know Denzel Curry is kind of slept on. So the fact that not everybody's gonna watch this and you're here, that's dope. If you like what you see, if you like this reaction, like I said, there's not too, not a whole lot of bar breakdown because I don't want it to be about that so much, especially now that I know what the music video is about. But if you like what you saw in the reaction and whatever breakdown that I gave, like it, leave a comment. That shit helps the algorithm push it out to other Curry fans, helps the algorithm push it. Maybe, maybe fucking Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats will see it. That'd be tight. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter. Like I said at the beginning, links in the description. Follow the Discord, link in the description. I'm always in that Discord. I'm in there like 24 seven all the time, not 24 seven, but I'm in there frequently enough that you'll be able to catch me and we can have a little conversation. You wanna talk to me? That's where to do it. But that pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. Part one of this Unlock Denzel Curry, Kenny Beats little saga that we're going on and it's fire so far. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video, part two. Peace.